Good morning, guys. I don't know how busy service work is going to be today, but we've got that one to do today. That's an electric mobile home furnace we need to do. That's a um, Linux gas pack that we need to do. And that one right there is actually for my house. That's a spare unit. I bought it last year. So I'm going to try to show y'all some video, at least of me going to check the um that new system we're gonna have to hang it under a house and um right now it's hung with bootstraps but that's why i picked up the unistruck to try to hang it right here it comes All right, so there's a lot happening today. The guys left with the trailer doing that install. I'm gonna go catch a no heat call. And then we're gonna go check on that mobile home system, that electric furnace that I'm gonna be changing out tomorrow. And we're gonna be prepping for another change out tomorrow, a gas pack. And I'm gonna go by the install and see how they're doing. So stay with me. First up is that service call. All right, this is the furnace. We got a no heat call on. I am not sure that this house is occupied. So first thing I'm gonna do is check the gas. All right, the gas is on. Everything seems furnished. Maybe somebody is living here. Um, gas is on, let's check the heat. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's on. It just ain't making hardly any noise. and backwards. <clears throat> the way it lit up, I think I'm gonna cycle it off and we're gonna try again. The way this thing lit up the first time I um I kind of suspect there may, be, may have been some air in the lines, like maybe the gas was just turned on. It does that sometimes when you first turn them on and it's got to get full pressure and sometimes it does that. It may not be the crossover on this, sometimes it's the gas. So I'm going to watch it again, let this cycle off and do it and light it up one more time. Right. It has fully cycled off. So let's turn it up.
now it's lighting just fine. I'm not suspecting any problem other than we didn't have full gas pressure or something. Going fine now. I'm going to let the blower come on and we're going to... Lower's already on. And that's got an H for heat. I'm not seeing a fault, not right now. I am lucky that today has not been busy. I've been running down parts for or supplies for the guys doing the change out today. They're doing a split system, which I intend to go and take a look at. So I'll have video of that later. And right now I'm scoping out an electric furnace that I'm gonna be changing tomorrow while the installers are doing that Linux package unit. So the reason I'm scoping it out is because the one they shipped me was 61 inches tall and this one is nowhere near that tall. So I gotta go look and see what I need to do. So you see this one's 51, we're going to 61. Yeah, there's plenty of room in there. <laughs> I am not seeing an access. Maybe I missed it. Here we go. Well, I'm going to try to do it where I don't have to crawl under there. But I do need to let the... Um, owner no i'm gonna have to cut that draw wall and they're gonna have to retrim it that that particular air handler job is something that i'm looking forward to tomorrow i hope i have another day where i'm not so busy so i can take my time and do it right um so we're about to go look at that install stay with me had them change the breaker because this is a, a home line panel and somebody had tried to put one of these cutler hammers in there I guess it's a Eaton but um, it's a good idea to replace the breaker anyway this is the coil I had to check the orientation and that is correct this picture is halfway through the job, about the middle of the day, and here we are um, after five, wrapping things up. Everything turned out just right for these people. They've been waiting actually for over a month now to get something other than emergency heat. I really do appreciate the help that these guys give me. I couldn't do a lot of the work I do without them. All right, guys, before I end the video, I wanted to tell you I had tried out some new settings on my camera. So if you noticed it was a little bit shaky, I think I noticed that. 
I'm gonna go back to the old way of doing it, but the picture does look better. I have decided to do this furnace myself tomorrow and then the guys are going to do that package unit tomorrow right now i have to get this unloaded so we can load it and i gotta to try to get that 61 inch tall electric furnace in the back of my van tis the things we do thanks for watching and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one